Hi folks, this is David coming to you from RC's Cocina. I'm the cleaner. That means I'm a really good dishwasher. And, and I'm uh, the cooker. She's the cooker, but she makes epic messes in the kitchen. So that's where I step in. But anyway, enough about me. Let's find out what Rebecca's cooking up for us today. Here we go. Switch. All right. Hey there, guys. Happy Saturday. Hopefully you had great Thanksgiving with your family. I know we had a lot of good food going on. So today we are coming to you. It's David and Rebecca from RC's Cocina. And today I'm going to be making one of my favorite Italian dishes. I am going to be making my bison meatballs. And I can tell you right now, they're not just ordinary meatballs. You're going to find out the difference between my Italian food and traditional Italian food is it's very healthy. It's low sodium and it doesn't come with a lot of rich sauces. Now we all love a good Italian dish, but most Italian dishes have between 2,200 and 2,500 calories per dish. So mine average right at six to 700 calories. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to make good Italian food. And for those low carbers in the, in the view, I'm a low carber, I don't like a lot of carbs. Uh, I am gonna use a healthy pasta, whole grain pasta. But for my dish, um, I actually forego the pasta. Now my meatballs have a great number of in ingredients. First of all, we are using once again, we are using fresh bison, and you can get this bison at HEB. And again, the reason I love to use bison is it's much lower in cholesterol, and you'll see there's very little fat in the meat. You can also use fresh turkey, or you can use fresh beef. Again, I prefer bison because it's nice and healthy, and I like to keep the cholesterol levels uh, low. So we're also gonna to use today in the ingredients, we have our portobello mushrooms, we have fresh tomatoes. Um, we have a pear that we're gonna use in our cucumber salad, uh, fresh squash, and I'm using oyster mushrooms as well. So I'm mixing oyster mushrooms with the portobellas, and then of course, fresh garlic. Uh, for the cucumber salad, I like to use these um, snacking cucumbers. They're a lot crispier and fresh. Um, and they last, they don't last as long in the fridge because they are all natural. So if you buy them, you do want to use them in two to three days. But we're going to be using these snacking cucumbers for our cucumber salad, tomatoes, and again, a fresh pear. Now, come on over here. Let me tell you about our spices. Everything with good food is all about the spices. So for the spices today, we have crushed red pepper, which we will top the final dish with. We have um, panko. Now I'm, I'm using just the plain panko. You don't wanna use uh, panko or crumbs that have any spices in them. There's an Italian crumbs. You don't wanna use those, they're high in sodium. The, the plain, simple uh, panko and crumbs is all you need. We have fresh garlic. We have parsley, black pepper, chopped onions, chopped garlic, and again, our chopped mushrooms, and then we're gonna to top it with the Parmesan cheese. Okay, let's get started. So we're bringing our fresh bison and I'm gonna add a dab of panko. Now the only reason you're adding a little bit of panko is you wanna use this to keep the meat solid so that when you make, I'm gonna get an egg out of the fridge. When you make your meatball, you want it to stick together when you're frying it. So we're gonna add just a dab of garlic I like using extra garlic, a dab of pepper, a pinch of fresh parsley, a pinch of onions. Now you'll notice with all of my cooking, I never ever measure my cooking. If you're the kind of cook that likes to measure your ingredients, you certainly want to do that. But for me, I'm always going with what I believe is the right portion, which is just a dab. And then I'm going to add I use these cage-free egg whites when I'm making meatloaf or meat um, meatballs, just a tiny bit. And this is the fun part. So then we go to mixing. And yes, my grandmother did teach me to use my hands when I cook. She used to actually say, 
that anytime you use your hands, it's always going to taste just a little better. So I do actually mix it really well. And then I'm coming over here. I've already got my pan cooking. Um, I've had it on high heat so that it's nice and hot. I actually cook with avocado oil. It's actually healthy oil. You'll see there's not a, a lot of oil there. And we're just gonna roll our meatballs and drop. You'll see as we cook this bison up, there's virtually no grease in this meat. And again, it's the reason that I really enjoy using bison. It's very low in cholesterol. It has about half of the cholesterol that beef has. But you can also use fresh turkey, you can use beef, whatever your heart desires. And because we added our egg and our fresh crumbs, um, our panko crumbs, you'll see that we'll have the meatballs stick nice and whole so that we don't have them falling apart when you're making them. Now again, the key to these not um, cooking slow is you wanna have the pan nice and hot, heat it to about 300 degrees when you drop these meatballs in. And as you can see, I'm trying to keep the meatballs apart from each other so that they don't stick. And we are done. I'm gonna cover that and leave it there. Do not mix your meatballs. If you mix your meatballs, the meat's gonna fall apart. You wanna leave it there. Okay, and then I'm gonna wash, give my hands a little swirl here. Great. So while we're making our meatballs, um, we're actually cooking them on high heat. Okay, so you wanna be high heat. They don't take, they take about, I would say six to eight minutes total to cook. You don't wanna move them until they're ready to be turned around. We've started our water here and I've brought just a little bit of water to boil. Now my husband is a pasta guy, so he loves pasta. I am not gonna eat this pasta because I'm trying to low carb it. I'm just gonna have the meatballs with the vegetables. So we are gonna drop. I do recommend if you use pasta that you use either a whole grain or a whole wheat pasta. And you wanna make sure the water is nice and boiling before you drop it in. We're actually gonna make just a half a box for David since he's the only one eating pasta. And you want to make sure your water is nice and boiling. If you drop it in when it's not boiling, your pasta is going to get gooey. Keep it on high heat and do not move your pasta. Leave it there. You see how our meatballs here are browning nicely? So you want to toss them. The reason I do the high heat and heat the pan is you see that nice brown flavor? That's going to give the the meatballs a seared flavor. You want to cook them for about three to four minutes on each side and you don't want to move them. So as you can see, if you were using normal beef, your pan would be full of grease. Bison emits very little grease and it's a very good beef to use. It's healthy. You want to give your meatballs a little shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Great. We're going to let that sit. Um, now, while those meatballs are finishing, so you want to cook them for about four or five minutes in the high heat. We're going to grab our chopped, chopped squash. I like to use yellow squash. So with my cooking, it's all about the color and the presentation especially if you have guests coming over tonight. We're just doing dinner, day to, day to night together. But the yellow squash gives it a nice presentation. Now, remember, we put a little bit of garlic in our meatballs, but we didn't put all the garlic, so I'm gonna add more garlic while the meatballs are cooking. I'm gonna add just a little bit more garlic. I'm gonna add the rest of my mushrooms. Now these again are portobellas and oyster mushrooms. They're very healthy and they're actually better for you than the plain white mushrooms. And a little bit of onion. While that is cooking, we're gonna add the squash. And you wanna keep the vegetables on the side. You don't want them to interfere with your meatballs, okay? And we're gonna cover that and let that sear. 
nice and toasty. Our pasta's already well on the way. Very good. Now we're going to start our cucumber salad. I've already started some of it here. The reason that I like to add fruit to my salads is it gives them a really distinct flavor. So I have added today a pear. This is a Texas pear. It's nice and crisp. You do not want to use a piece of fruit that is soft. You want to use a nice and crisp pear. And then we'll cut the, the baby cucumbers. This is actually a nice alternative to just a regular salad. Um, you, can, you can obviously make a regular salad, but I like to use this kind of salad because it's a little, a little different and it gives the, the food a great flavor. Now I cook a lot with fresh fruit. I cook with berries, I cook with bananas, I cook with strawberries. This morning I made, I made migas, yesterday I made uh, banana pancakes. But this fruit is gonna give this salad a delicious flavor. Now, most salads that you have in restaurants are loaded with lots of dressing. And remember, a healthy salad is only as healthy as the kind of dressing you use. So today we're gonna use just a simple avocado spray just to give it a little bit of oil. Very, very simple. We're not gonna add anything else except fresh balsamic. I like to top my salads with balsamic. And then we're gonna add a few fresh cherry tomatoes. In order to get your salad flavorful, just a tiny bit of sea salt and a little bit of pepper. There you have it. This is your fresh cucumber salad. It's super healthy. There is virtually no fat in the salad. Very little, maybe 10 calories because you've only used avocado oil. Let me taste. Mmm, and balsamic gives it a good flavor. Let's check on our meatballs. So, they are ready to go. We're now ready to add the tomatoes. So the secret to good, healthy Italian, remember we're going for healthy food here, is low sodium, low salt foods. Today I am using these organic diced tomatoes. Now the reason I use the diced tomatoes instead of a spaghetti sauce is spaghetti sauce, even the healthiest of spaghetti sauces, if you buy like an organics HEB brand or Central Market brand, it has about 400 grams of sodium in it. That is a lot of sodium. These fresh organics tomato have half of the sodium. So instead of using pasta uh, spaghetti sauce, I'm just gonna make fresh tomatoes. And you want to leave the sauce, this is actually sauce, it's not grease, because remember, bison does not omit a lot of grease. But you want to leave, leave the sauce in there and make it saucy. If you prefer to use spaghetti sauce, certainly use it, but be mindful that you'll be taking in a lot of sodium if you do that. So that's going to that's gonna come on high heat. And we're going to finish it off with parsley. You can use fresh parsley or dried parsley. We're gonna finish it off with some pepper. And we're gonna simmer it for about five minutes. Now this is when we do turn on low heat. Once the meatballs are just about done, you wanna turn it on low heat. As you can see, we've got a great flavor going on. You're only gonna simmer it for about five minutes on low heat because you wanna cook the vegetables. You also want to make sure anytime you're cooking vegetables, you want a crisp vegetable to eat. You don't want it all soft and gooey. So that's why you won't cook it long. The pasta's almost done. So I want to show you our final product. This is our final product. It is again, a nice, healthy whole wheat spaghetti, bison meatballs with fresh tomatoes, fresh garlic, and your beautiful cucumber salad. So we are gonna pair our dinner tonight with the petite sirah. This is actually a really nice red wine. Um, it's very affordable, it's about $15. And we are gonna pair it. It's a 90, 90 point wine, so it has a 90 score. And we are done.
Coming to you live from RC's Cocina. I hope you enjoyed today's cooking demonstration. Bon appetit!